dear people thank you for coming back and of course if you are new thank you for tuning in my name is lillian and today i want to present to you one of the best in africa and of course the very best in west africa orthopedic hospital and today we are taking a look at focus orthopedic hospital located in the greater accra region of ghana shout out to all of you my amazing viewers so because i've been on this someone left a comment on a comment of mine on someone else's video and because the person was precise she said orthopedic hospital and knew that there is high demand for these hospitals because we don't have lots of them litter about because often time in our society this able people are usually marginalized i know in ghana there's this there's this effort to bridge the gap which is cool but i feel like we can do more so when i see this i knew that I needed to bring it out to everyone that may be in need so if you have someone living with disabilities or yourself you're dealing with some issues don't hesitate to come to this hospital in ghana and get treatment regardless of your location especially those in africa because in africa it's hard anything that has to do with do with special needs is hard to come by so first as we have always done we are going to take a look at focus hospital get to meet the doctors and we will be back let's go welcome to focus Focus was founded under the visionary leadership of Dr. Ohenaba Boachia J in 1998. In 2012, that dream was fulfilled when the Focus Orthopedic Hospital opened its doors in Accra, Ghana. Focus has treated well over 60,000 local and international patients. Located on 15 acres, the 50-bed hospital is fully equipped with state-of-the-art medical equipment from the United States. Focus has a direct affiliation with New York-based hospital for special surgery and is designed to replicate the facility to ensure excellent care. One-on-one -on -one consultation in the OPD is the first step for doctors to determine whether a treatment regimen or surgery is required for the patient. The on-site pharmacy offers patients convenience and ensures the quality and safety of the medications they purchase. The radiology and diagnostic imaging department feature top-of-the-line equipment, CAT scan, X-ray, MRI, and fluoroscopy machines. Focus Hospital has four surgical sites where doctors perform 300 to 500 surgeries a year, including complex spine, total knee and hip replacements. Doctors use the same high quality implants found in the U.S. thanks to donations from companies such as K2M and Stryker. Focus's highly trained physicians and medical staff work as a team to ensure the best outcomes for patients. All right, so I am excited to do this because from my previous videos that I've done so far about the hospitals in Ghana, so many people are already in Ghana for that, just for the health tourism. It's not everything we post out here and I'm not seeking validation, but my heart gladdens anytime I look back and I see the reviews that I do get from these videos, apart from the views, which is, the views are cool though, to me personally, but when the video reach where you want it to reach it gives you a different kind of vibe entirely and i hope that this video will get to the right person do where to share it for me so that the right person will see it if you are looking for an orthopedic hospital i think this particular one have made so much provision for everyone so we are going to go back to the hospital and take a look at whatever we can find and i'll be back let's go <music> Patients who have had surgery are given physical therapy in the rehab center, helping them to gain greater mobility. Some pre-op patients are sent to rehab for exercises that strengthen their bodies before surgery. Some young people have musculoskeletal disorders so severe that they must undergo physical therapy before surgery can be performed by wearing devices resembling a halo. 
Focus Orthopedic Hospital treats so many children that it has a dedicated ward that allows them to be in a communal environment during their recuperation. Many children travel from other countries and require long hospital stays. Recognizing the critical importance of having family close by during extended stays at the hospital, the campus has hostels for parents and siblings. Focus also has a full lab for hematology work before surgery and diagnosis. Volunteers are the lifeblood of the work in Ghana. With the support of more than 500 international volunteers from 10 countries, the hospital has treated over 60,000 patients from 53 countries. A new, dedicated endoscopic suite enables Focus to extend services beyond surgery. Teachers help with reading, and there is a classroom with computers, a library, and an activity center, all instrumental to the children's healing process and social interaction. Focus Orthopedic Hospital commissioned the largest solar installation in Africa in 2018. It became the first hospital in West Africa to have the ability to operate off-grid in the event of a power loss with the support of dedicated staff, volunteers. Yeah, and for your information, this hospital is owned by a single individual. I think it's just like me. Realize that disabled people and physically challenged people, finding a hospital, orthopedic hospital is basically difficult. And when you do find one, it is expensive. So he came up with this idea of establishing one in Ghana. And he was able to pull that off by getting other people involved. And the fun part for me is that this man already had an interview with channels, television, all the way in Nigeria. Let us go and take a look at the interview a little bit and I will be back. Okay, welcome back. And that was Janet on Phone Etiquette. Now let's talk about health as a concerns orthopedic foundation of um, orthopedic foundation of Nigeria and that's uh, foundation of orthopedics and complex spine sorry about that that's focus and it was established as a non profit for profit organization to provide comprehensive orthopedic care to undeserved population throughout Africa and particularly in Ghana underserved underserved yes. sorry yes <laughs> underserved population so is Nigeria in focus now these and other questions about the organization will be answered by the focus founder Professor Ohenaba Boachi Ajay he's joining us from our Abuja studios good morning good morning and thanks for having me on your program Good to have you. Now, tell us more about FOCUS. Yeah, FOCUS is, it stands for the Foundation of Old Peace and Complex Spine. And it was established in the United States in 1998, where I had private uh, practice at the Cornell Medical Center and also the Hospital for Special Surgery. Yeah, thank you. And this man is still doing a whole lot of things. But there's something that inspired me about this hospital. Just taking a look at them and going to their YouTube channel, which I encourage you to subscribe. I'm going to leave their link in the description of this video. Subscribe to their channel, get to know more because, like I said, I am a, a parent with a child with physical needs and I know I have a story to share. Not right now. For those that are concerned, oh, Lily, why don't you go here? Don't worry everything is going on fine and with time we are all going to talk about it so if you are in need don't hesitate to follow them i'm going to link their channels handle in the description of this video check them out subscribe to them and follow them do your research and find out more like he said for me is for the fact that he said you shouldn't hide your child. If your child has issues, don't hide your child. Your child is not cursed, which is something that a lot of us would do later in life, like coming up to create awareness around these issues. Because, you know, we in Africa, we believe so much in perfection. And when we don't get that, it looks like God hates you or something is wrong or you have done, you have done something wrong. And that is why your child comes out that way. But I am glad that I am excited for us 
hospitals like this where they don't just treat you but they educate parents the day i took my child to a hospital somewhere here in ghana i remember having this long conversation with the doctor who appreciated me who was like she was happy i'm doing this she was like look at you you're young and alone and you're doing this she took my matter very personal like i said we'll talk not now right so if you are on this table don't leave your child to be completely deformed all right look for this place and go and the fun part is and i'm not encouraging that if you can afford it make sure you pay for it but if you cannot afford it there are ways they are going to help you make the cost very effective according to what they said in the video and that is really good the truth is if you can afford it now that you can you finally now that you finally find a hospital if you can afford it pay for it pay for your service but if you cannot afford it of course even themselves there's a way they're going to know so don't hesitate to take your child there or your mother or yourself or anybody generally anyone that is in need your family your loved one that is in need of their service ensure you connect with them all right see and did you notice what i noticed you'll be wondering why are they using solar in ghana you want to treat patients this summer we commissioned a 700 kilowatt solar panel with a one megawatt battery backup making it the largest solar powered hospital project in africa I thought you people said there's electricity, right? The truth is, if I own a business in Ghana or own my own my own space, personal house, I am going to go for solar. Using solar is not as a result of unavailability of electricity. It is because for me personally, I feel like it saves you a lot of cost. Solar solar systems are very, very effective. I mean cost effective and every wise person individual that is going into such an organization that you're not getting this organization is not like a regular one it's not like a regular hospital where people come in and they pay huge amount of money this is more like a charity organization and and it makes a lot of sense that you invest into getting solars to you know work with than electricity see in ghana you get electricity no doubt but they build very high sometimes the cost of electricity in ghana is high and i am not complaining because i get what i pay for but when you're running a business if you pay for electricity a business like your hospital where the lights need to be on like 24 7 i will always go for solar so when i saw that the first thing that came to my head was like but why are they using solar quickly i, I put my brain cells to work and this is what i personally came up with and i believe strongly this is why they are using solar and i hope that this video meets you well and that you share it to the right people more people are coming to ghana for medical tourism and it is not something to be ashamed of there's nothing when it comes to your health do not joke with it don't go don't sit down and say oh, we are better than them why should i go there go there and get treatment because a lot of people are coming to get whatever they want from whatever they want in ghana especially when it comes to their health and go back quietly the rich people are coming go to our airport if you go to the private jets section of the kutoka international airport you'll be marvel at the number of people both from nigeria and of course from around other african countries coming to ghana to receive treatment and go back quietly without making noise so you should do yourself good by putting away this banter thing let it don't let it affect you come get what you're looking for and go back to your country and continue to rule it's not that hard okay so for those that are looking to come to ghana for one medical issues or the other i am available to give free information i'm not charging anybody anything all you have to do is to be patient with me because sometimes i get really busy but when it concerns this particular hospital orthopedic i am in to be of help in with information please okay the only help i can offer is definitely information i uh, can help you get you to where you know just basically give you all the information that you will need if you want to come all right i hope that this video is helpful and that i will see you 